And the Warriors opponent Browerville boys basketball team will return to the state tournament for the first time since 2012. That was the main goal for the 26 and two Tigers at the beginning of the season. But now that they have scratched that surface, they are looking for more. Our Chelsea Brown has the story. Browerville Eagle Valley 63 to 51 victory over Verndale sealed the deal to accomplishing their main goal set all season. Having that opportunity was our goal, you know, of being in that game and having a chance to go to the state tournament. It was good. It's kind of like a relief off of our backs, you know. And uh, we set a goal at the beginning of the season and we uh, met that goal and now it's time to keep going. The celebration continued till about Sunday evening. Then it went back to business and only three practices till the state tournament. They've been pretty focused since Monday already. Uh, kind of ready to, hey, let, let's go get one ball game. Their last state appearance in 2012 was a short visit, being eliminated after the first game. But this group of guys wants to be the team that takes it a step further. I've been to some state tournaments, but I've never won a game at one, so it'd be a next step, and I think it'd finally get us over that hump, you know, of getting to the state tournament. Now that we got there a few times, we got to win that first one to keep playing. With the game this Thursday means that school at the high school has been canceled. The team admits it'd be nice to have a couple extra days off in the classroom, which goes hand in hand with their main focus of winning their first game. Winning that first one means that we get to play two more games for sure. The whole approach we've had ever, all season was win the next game. So, you know, that's just what we got to do again is win the next game, one game at a time. And winning that first contest means that basketball season isn't quite over. Chelsea Brown, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.